Welcome to Excel and Business Math video number 21. Hey, we got to talk about, just like last video, the percent formulas. But in this video, we'll use those formulas to solve business math word problems. We have two awesome examples, and there's three fun homework problems at the end of this workbook for you to practice. Now let's go remind ourselves of an awesome trick we learned last video. I'm going to click on the sheet percent formula memory trick. Now here's the one, two, three formulas. But guess what? I'm going to slide this out of the way. You actually don't need that if you have this awesome circle diagram. Part equals base times rate. Remember, you take the hand. And any part you're solving for, if you're solving for part, put your hand over the part you're solving for. And this tells you base times rate. If you're solving for the rate, put your hand over rate. And instantly, you know the formula, part divided by base. If you're solving for base, no problem. Use the hand. Part divided by rate is the formula. All right, so let's go over to the sheet sales. All right, here is our problem. The Nightly News reported that GE Company has sales this year that were 87.5% of last year's sales. If last year's sales were 5,350,500,000, what were this year's sales? Now, when I read something like this, I'm tempted to just copy the text and translate it word for word, not only into the numbers, but the math symbols. Let's try that. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to come up to cell A4. And in edit mode, I'm going to highlight sales all the way to the end here. Control C, Enter. Come down here, paste it, Control V. And I want to break this apart into the parts of the formula, including the math operators. In edit mode, I double click. I'm going to highlight just sales this year, control C, and paste it down in cell A13. Double click. That were, highlight that, control C, down here, paste. 87.5, and watch this. That is text right now, control C, but when I paste it into the cell, Excel will know what to do with it. It is literally formatting a number as we type. So when I hit Enter, it interprets it properly as a percent of. I'm not even going to copy that one. I'm just going to type of tab. And then over here, last year sales. Copy Control C and then Control V down here. Now look at this. This year's sales were some percentage of last year's sales. Well, we already know that this is the rate. We know that of is multiplying. and since there's a rate of, we know that's the base. Without even looking at what the content of it is, I was able to extract from this the parts of our formula. That would make were, that's a synonym for is. And guess what? I can't type an equal sign like that, because Excel will think it's a formula. So backspace, lead apostrophe will force anything that you put in a cell to become text. So that way we can put an equal sign. And then, of course, this is the part. I'm going to highlight all these, Control-B, right click, red font. Now, this year's sales, well, we don't know what that is. The actual goal, calculate this year's sales. So I'm going to put some question marks here. That is our equal sign. The rate, well, that is equals up arrow, tab. And last year sales, they give us that. So we're going to enter that. Actually, let's do our same trick. I can copy this without the comma at the end, because then Excel wouldn't know that this is a number. Control C. And watch this in edit mode. I'm going to Control V and Enter. Now, of course, that means the formula we're going to use part equals rate times base. Rate equals base equals, and the part equals. I'm going to put the actual amount down here. So there's that 87.5. The base, I'm going to bring that down with the formula. I want to see it all down in my solving area. This will be the formula. I'm going to add some 
fill and some border. And that means the part which is this year sales equals the base times the rate. And you know GE's not too happy. If this is last year sales and we're trying to get to this year sales and the percentage is less than 100%, that means this number is going to be smaller. The part is smaller than the base. This is actually considered a decrease problem. We have some starting point last year sales, and here's the ending point this year sales. So when I hit Enter, they're bummed out only 4.7 billion instead of last year's 5.3 or 5.4 billion. You can think of this rate, you can think of it as number of pennies for this year's sales compared to $1 of last year's sales. Now I'm going to control enter, increase the column width, come up to home, wrap text. So we're given this percentage, and the statement tells us the relationship. This year's to last year's, and there's the percentages. Remember our ratio trick. Leave a 1 in the denominator. That's what we did down here. So even though we're given this as a percentage, we can interpret it from how it's written. That's 87.5 pennies of sales this year, right there, for every $1 last year. Last year sales. Now we can check. We calculated the part. We can either use the formula for rate or for base. I'm going to come over here and check. I want to use the part. I'm going to choose the formula solve for base, part divided by rate. I'm going to right click, Format Painter, and click. Equals, there's the part we just calculated, divided by the rate. That better give us, when we hit Enter, 5,350,500,000. Check. And remember our trick for putting a check mark? Totally unnecessary, but kind of cool. Insert over to symbol. And you have to look through. We found it in Arial last time we used it. I have it in my recent. Click Insert. Click Close. Now we can create a written statement. This year's sales are 4,681,000. 687,500, and Enter. If you want to get fancy, you could write, given the nightly news GE figures, this year's sales were 87.5% of last year's. We calculated this year's sales to be 4,681, and so on. All right, so that's example number one. Let's go on to example number two. We want to go over to the sheet stock market. Our problem reads, the nightly news reported that the stock market rose by 78 bucks 25 cents. If the stock market started at 26,083, what was the fractional percentage increase in tenths? All right, let's list our facts. It looks like if it rose by that much and that's the starting point, that would be the base and this is the part. I'm going to start off part equals Amount that stock market rose, tab. And I'm going to format as I type 78.25 and Enter. Base, that's where the stock market started. 26,083 and Enter. Rate, that's what we're solving for. We're trying to get the fractional percentage increase, tab. I'm going to put question, question. The formula, well, let's see, we have part and base. If we think about our hand, we simply cover up the rate, and we're left with part divided by base. Rate equals part divided by base. And it looks like we have a requirement. And Enter. Our goal, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to come up here. It says, what was the fractional percentage in increase in tenths? Control C. Right here, I'm going to Control V. Maybe add a capital W. Now, I want to relist some of this information down here. I should have shown this before. This is a great trick. Watch this. I can click on this cell right there. It's not a number. It's some text. Control Enter, and I can copy it to the side. Look at that. And I can copy it down, and I have my two bits of information. 
Over here, I can say, hey, 7825, enter, equals that 2683, and enter. I can do the same thing. I actually should have copied it straight down. Watch. Highlight. Whoop. Remember, that's really what? F2, a relative cell reference. So I literally pulled down all of my labels down into my calculation area. Advantage of that, too, is if I come up and change this, let's double click rows and type increase and enter. Look at that. Everything is consistent now. All right, so our formula, we're calculating rate equals the part divided by the base. When I hit Enter, I get a decimal. Now remember our trick. That second zero right there is the penny position or the 1% position. So if it was formatted as a percent, that 3 would be the tenths. Now actually, this label is wrong. Watch this. Here's another trick. We learned about Angry Rabbit for copying. We learned about selection. But if you point, and that cursor right there is the Move cursor. I'm going to click and drag. So I point it right to the edge with that cursor to move it down. This should really be decimal increase. I'm going to type rounded to a tenth of a percent tab. Now we can preformat this with our percentage. Right there, it doesn't show any preview because there's nothing there. But this will always format with two decimals. Now I'm simply going to equals up arrow and Enter. All right, so it looks like if we were to increase the decimals a bunch, we can see those extra decimals. But how do we round? Pick the position we want to round to. That's the tenth of a percent. Look to the right. It's four or less, so we hack everything off and leave it as a three. Oh, but wait a second. We don't have to do it manually. We can get the round function to do it. Remember, if we're looking at this, we would think it's 1, but we got to look at the underlying number, 1, 2, 3. So ready, F2. This would be round, tab, and comma. The number of digits is 3, close parentheses, control, enter. Now we have to ultimately equals up arrow, control, enter. It pulled the formatting, control, 1. We want to definitely come down to custom and do our fractional percentage, question mark, slash, and it's in tenth. So I'm going to type in the denominator a tenth, and then percentage symbol to slide two to the right. Now I click OK, and there's our 3 tenths of a percent. Now just out of curiosity, notice we have the stock market start and the amount of the increase. We could actually calculate stock market end value. That would be alt equals for sum. That's totally wrong, but no problem. Dancing, answer, dancing. So I simply redirect it, add those two together, and enter. Now, I didn't ask for that, but we calculated it anyway. All right, so we, with our unrounded rate, Solve for rate, so we can pick either base or part to check our rate calculation. I'm going to take the base and multiply it by the rate, and hopefully I'll get that 78.25. Part equals base times rate tab equals, there's the rate, the unrounded one times, there's the base. When I control enter, I better get 78.25, and sure enough, I do. Now I can. Now I can come down and write my answer in words. The stock market rose by 3 tenths of a percent and enter. All right, that was a little fun with percent formula formulas and business word problems. There's one, two, three homework problems and the answers. In this video, we saw how to solve for rate by taking part and dividing by base using all five steps for our word problems. Over on sales, we saw how to take part divided by rate and use our five word problem steps to solve a business problem. And don't forget, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including next video, video number 22. We'll see how to create a common-sized financial statement where we use the rate formula and a really cool Excel trick to create many formulas quickly. All right, we'll see you next video.